Bless the Lord, guys. Evangelist Rob here. Guys, you have got to hear this testimony. It's mind-blowing. I mean, you got to say to yourself, only the Lord could do things like this. And it's actually, it's just, it's crazy, man. So anyway, here's the drill. Some of you heard this story. And at the end, I'll tell you why I came back on to tell you the mind-blowing testimony towards the end. Don't scroll. Some of you heard this story. I'm just relaxed at just at the gym, lifting light. And uh, I see this older woman start to curse these young guys out. And she was going crazy. You know, I don't want to even tell you the language. She was, uh, I can't tell you the language, but it was bad. So then I'm just doing flies or whatever. She comes running up to me. And she goes, you too, and starts cur I says, oh my God, this lady's mad. She's nuts. I said, lady, you need Jesus. She says, you're one of them, you blankety, blankety, blank. So I says, whatever. I says, the Lord bless you. God loves you. You know, you must be. Boy, I got God in my life. She comes back to me a few minutes later. She says, I'm sorry. That this is you have God. I said, so good. You don't have to apologize. The manager told me the next day that these young guys were breaking her shoes disrespecting her you know maybe 20s you know it's in their 20s and she's she's older so you know you don't do that to it she just said re-rack your weights they were 50 pound plates which you know it's heavy for an older woman to re-rack on a leg press so i didn't see her she comes back to me two weeks later she says you know i wanted to re-apologize to you now i'm coming to something towards the end don't know scroll she said, from what happened, she says, it's okay, it's okay, you need Jesus. She says, I'm Catholic. I says, you could come to Christ right now. I gave her the gospel. Always give people the gospel. Make sure they know what they're doing, why they're doing it, why they're accepting Christ. That's a whole other message. So lo and behold, she prays with me. By her own free will, she accepts Jesus. She starts crying in the middle of the gym. So then she starts talking to me. She says, you know, I haven't seen my daughter in, in years. My daughter's been a heroin addict for 10 years. 10 years, Rob. I says, oh, my God, what a try. I says, let's pray. I says, Father God, in Jesus' name, we break that addiction. Now, I'm coming to something. Don't scroll. We break that. We came against it. She hasn't seen my daughter in years. I see her at the gym today. This was Three weeks ago when she prayed with me. I haven't seen her. She comes running. Her face, the woman's face is glowing. I'm like, hallelujah, what's up? She says, I seen my daughter. I said, what? I said, how did it happen? She said, I was driving through the streets of Queens. Now, you got to realize where I live and she lives, this is 40 miles from here. This is going into Manhattan, which is about 60 miles. It's an hour and a half away. Hour without traffic. There's always traffic in New York. She says, as I was driving down the road, my daughter was walking in the street. And I pulled the car over. And I hugged her. We talked for hours. We went out for lunch. We're going out again. We've been talking. I says, are you serious? You were driving down the road in Queens, which is a ways away from the gym where we live here in Long Island. She said, my daughter was walking down the street. Now, listen to me. This is why I came on here. She said, when my older daughter found out that I, was, that I started talking to her again, now she won't talk to me and she's angry at me. As soon as she said that, I says, my God, that's the prodigal son. The son came home. The older brother got mad at the father and says, he's been with you all these years. You didn't throw a party for me. And now he comes home, the punk, gets his life right. All these years I've been working for you. And that's that religious spirit. So I, I'm just trying to. So I don't know what's going on with the older daughter. The other. Anyway, the reason why I came on here tonight is Monday, and it's homecoming night with the prodigals. And I said to myself, this is incredible how this woman hasn't seen a daughter in you know, a long time, years. And the older daughter's mad. 
that now she's reunited with the younger daughter. And I said, it's brought, and I it, immediately it clicked the light bulb went off in Brother Rob's canoggin. I'm not as, you know, hallelujah. It's mind blowing. I said, tonight is homecoming night. Listen, guys, meet me 9 p.m. YouTube. Tonight's homecoming night. We're going to call the prodigals home. Come in the chat. Everybody start naming names out of the gate. We're going to pray for them. The Lord can and will and does do this. 9 p.m. May 16th, YouTube Live. Prodigals are coming home just like this woman was reunited with her daughter. I love you guys. Blessings.